This one we call the top end plus 200 stabiliser. Top end because it's a top end of our range and I think it's approaching the top end of the of the type of crush you can buy you can buy you can buy you can buy in Australia. Because we don't go through resellers, we can offer this type of crush considerably cheaper than a crush manufacturer that goes through a reseller. Just to recap a few of the features, split sliding gate going in, much better than a conventional push gate. I can just open that, go back to go go back to my race, a couple of in out of movements, and if I've got to close that, I can. Kick gate, full access, full walkthrough access if I want. Work the kick gate with your foot the same as every crush that has got that access. Now from here on forward, this crush starts to get really interesting. 4 mil material all the way through, weighs well over a, t weighs over a ton, um, seem, ha has a standard rump bar, comes standard. We can put a rump bar on any of our crushes and all the features that, that are on this crush we can put on our range of other crushes. So if you'd like a semen collection door we can do that, but everything comes at a price. So there's a good semen collection door there. If if that's if that that's if that's if need be, we have our standard standard needle access gate. Because we made this semen collection door short, so a small bull can't swing around right out of the road and get his legs out over here uh, over here etc. We then put another door in here. Um, could be that it, a piece of wire around the front foot, M mainly wire goes around the back leg somehow. Don't know why, but it's pretty rare for them to be in the front foot. It could be could be could be an infection in the foot or the, uh, to palpate the ankle to see where the infection is, is etc. We do have another gate up here. This crush was awarded Henty Machine of the Year runner-up. <laughs> they only gave out two. Awards. One was first prize, the other one was highly commended, so I, I just um, like to say runner-up um, for, for the feature on the crush. One of the outstanding features on this crush is that um, for a start it's 3.5 metres long or close to 3.6 metres, which means that if you're going to run a bull in and scan it, 12th rib back to the rump, 12th rib eye, eye muscle area, rump fat area, and then I have run pull in. I can kick that gate behind him. Now that'll take most commercial British breeds, big stretchy limos or something, 18 months old bulls when they're scanning them prior to the sale, uh, gaining their gaining their EBVs, etc. May have to have their head poked out. But most most bulls can be scanned scanned in that now. Instead of a series of drop away gates here, or having to open this gate up and somehow get it around past, past the monitor, so it's clip, put the bit of gel on, and um, that's all hard with the monitor, plus is this. We've come up with that's locked. That is so simple. So there's a monitor sitting there. When they're doing the ultrasound, 12th rib rump, no, no matter what the height is, there's, uh, that's it, the monitor can be sitting right there. So, so they can have their um, ultrasound, work the button, yep, 112, whatever it is, 14, and, and then close. So that's locked, and that's a double, sorry, that's locked, that's locked a double acting over centre gate and for, and the head bale once again beefed right up four mil material all the way through uh, the vaccinating guns can sit in here dual gates on the offside full uh, a full rump bar and the head bale it's got the same features as a head bale which 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 we looked at under the head bale section 
and this has got proper mechanical advantage. And once again, chin lifter. We also do a scoop. I didn't bring one out for the video, but if you care to check out at the catalogue or the brochure, you'll see a you'll see a photograph of of the scoop in, and that's adjustable, and it rotates to uh, to assist in coming up under the chin.